The White Sox are in Detroit for the first of four, and their starter John Danks is in early trouble. Bottom two, Detroit has the bases loaded with nobody out. Alex Avila grounds to the right side. The pale host can only get one out on the play. Torrey Hunter scores, and it's 1-0 Tigers. The next batter is Andrew Romine. He'll pop up to the right side. Jose Abreu gloves it for out number two. After that, Rajay Davis steps up. He'll pop one up in the air as well. Marcus Semien squeezes. Danks minimizes the damage. He allows just the one earned run in six and a third innings of work. Jump to the seventh inning now. Still 1-0 Tigers, but Chicago has the leadoff man at second for Jose Abreu. He steps in against Anibal Sanchez and skies one down the right field line. Torrey Hunter ranges over, but he can't make the catch. The ball falls in for a ground rule double. Connor Gillespie scores to tie the game at one, but Torrey Hunter signals to Brad Ausmus to challenge the play. The Tigers do just that, but the umpires take another look, and they see that the ball did land fair, so the call would stand, and this game is officially tied at one. Two batters later, Dion Viciato steps in. That ball hit hard. He's back there. He looks up. It's off the wall. So now they're going to wave Abreu around. Kensler with a throw to third. He scores and Sox lead it. Two to one. Yes. Double number six on the year for Viciato gives Chicago the lead. The next man up is Alexei Ramirez. He'll single through the hole on the left side. Viciato takes a wide turn around third. He holds up, but then Rajay Davis comes home and throws the ball away. Anibal Sanchez is backing up. He goes to Alex Avila. Viciato's tagged out at home, but wait a second. Robin Ventura comes out to discuss, and this becomes a crew chief review. They take another look at the play, and Viciato is deemed safe on second look. The call is overturned, and Chicago extends the lead to 3-1. Bottom seven now, Ronald Belisario on a relief for Chicago, facing Ian Kinsler with two on and one down. Kinsler grounds to the left side, and the White Sox turn an inning-ending 5-4-3 double play. Bottom nine now, Matt Lindstrom's on to close. He's in a jam of his own, two on, two out for Detroit, and Kinsler's at the plate again. Ground ball, and this ball game is over! Lindstrom shuts the door in the pouring rain in the Motor City, and the White Sox hang on for the 3-1 win. So John Danks gets the victory. He's now 2-0 on the year. Meanwhile, his counterpart, Anibal Sanchez, is still winless in his four starts in 2014. And the White Sox have now won back-to-back -back games on the heels of their four-game losing streak.